The RIMC stands for Risk Intelligence Monitoring Center. We have about six of these globally. We have two in the United States, one in the UK, one in Hungary, one in uh, Singapore, and we have a kind of third party that we leverage in India. We got about 80 or so analysts. We look at information to tell companies what is happening near the locations of their businesses. Um, that can range anything from a water main break in their building to a protest down the street to terrorist attacks and major weather disasters. Anything that can affect business continuity is what we're looking for. The teams are divided into three different teams. Um, it's our real, real time operations, which is 24 7, 365. Um, then we also have our regional analysts, which focus mainly on global developments, let's say. And then you have our GIS team, which does geographic information systems and they contextualize the risks that our teams are monitoring and put them in our CEM platform. We don't have a typical analyst. They vary in backgrounds. If you walk in that room and, and ask them, there are going to be folks that have backgrounds in law enforcement, international affairs. Uh, you'll see geographic information systems, um, you know, military. Uh, it runs a gambit. When analysts first start, there's a pretty intensive six to eight week process where they are learning kind of how we you know, find sources, how to report, how to look for, you know, information that we can trust versus information that kind of appears false. If you're talking about our real-time operations, it's about cutting through the noise and finding the signals that have a potential to impact you. If I'm a client and I have operations globally, I want to hear about that one event that has a potential to impact me, hear about it early have the ability to respond to it and then mitigate any potential risks. You could start your day and you think, okay, all right, I have priority A, B, and C, but then, you know, a magnitude 6.8 earthquake strikes Mexico City, then all of a sudden you've got to shift gears. The biggest differentiator is the people that we have. Uh, there's an ever focus now on incorporating um, AI and machine learning. And while we do that with our tools, we strongly believe in having the human element, which will always be vital for context. And our analysts can pick through the noise and add value to the work that they're providing. Uh, they can monitor and vet for misinformation and disinformation and make sure that the information that's going to our clients is verified. Uh, to the highest degree possible. You want to get faster and faster, but you don't want to ruin the integrity of the report, of the information getting out, because the information that's getting out can literally decide what a company decides to do, their, their next step. In that way, machine learning helps a lot by giving us the information as fast as possible instead of us going to search for it. The machine learning also gives you a lot more options so that you can triangulate where the picture is coming from. The most exciting thing is that every day is different and that the news is always changing and the world is always changing. So every day when we log on, we don't know if it's going to be a slow day or if it's going to be a fast day. And so there's always something new to uh, sink your teeth into. We support all sizes. We can support an organization that has a GSOC the size of ours, as well as, hey, um, this is an organization, there's three of us, and this is not my day job. We can support all of them there. And, and that's the beauty for it. This system is overwatch for our customers to make sure they're getting that actual intelligence that they need to protect their employees and assets. Why organizations would want this technology is because we really couple the speed with the accuracy, and that's also where our analyst team comes in handy. When there is a major event, especially like a, a terrorist event, time is of the essence in um, getting your people and getting your organization taken care of. I can think back on several examples um, where it was rewarding to know that we were helping organizations keep their people safe. We had an employee think this. If I recall correctly, it was a bomb going off at the airport first and then one at the metro um, in Brussels. We had a client that told their people to stay home sent a message as soon as they heard from the airport bombing, right? And they were able to prevent people from getting on the metro. You, there's always a what if, you know, but it felt really nice to have the client say, hey, um, thanks to you guys, uh, we were able to keep our people at home um, instead of on the metro where more people were targeted. So again, there's real impact to acting on the risk intelligence that's being disseminated through the RIMC.